Joining us this morning to discuss this further is Dr. Chris von Straten, Global Health Advisor, uh, Clinical Governance at International SOS. Doctor, good morning and welcome good. to The Breakfast Rush. Good morning and thanks so much for having me on the show. It's a pleasure to have you this morning. Can you briefly tell the uh, significance of this year's World Health Day theme, Mental Health at Work? Good. So mental health, one, I, I'm glad so much for inviting someone like me on the show. I think there's still a lot of stigma. I love the banter you're having before the call. Um, I'm a South African male, and uh, sadly, I've got many true stories of men who didn't want to go see the doctor, even if their partner was like, hey, you've you've got a lump or a bump, uh, and some truly sad stories of people passing away from a condition that could or should have been picked up early. So one, there's a lot of stigma around mental health. We are indeed seeing an increase globally of mental health concerns, including anxiety, depression, uh, and related mental health conditions. I think it's important to keep in mind that, for example, something like hypertension, right? If you measure it and you pick it up and you treat it early, you can prevent that heart attack. You can prevent that stroke. And if you prevent that heart attack, who wins? Well, the guy or individual who didn't have the heart attack, their family mm. and the business that they're part of. The same with mental health. So the space that we're in every day, I love working right? It's my strength. It's also one of my failures. And by taking frequent breaks, by acknowledging things that cause me stress and then mitigating that can help prevent long-term issues and bigger issues in the long term, which can be very costly. What strategies and policies can companies implement to foster a mentally healthy work environment? Great question. So one, context is super important. I want to give you an example. So at International SOS, I've been in my function for over 10 years. What we do is we work with the global uh, companies, including the Fortune 500. And recently, you be able to, about several years back, you'd have heard of a story of in Africa, there was a very large facility that was attacked and people were damaged. Our initial job was to stabilize those individuals medivac them and sort out the medicine. What was interesting, over a couple of months on that particular facility, people started noticing that colleagues were more anxious. People were starting to feel depressed. And I guess there was an element of PTSD. Now this is location was remote. You couldn't easily access the place or what, what they did was really interesting and very powerful. They, Sorry, and I'm going to quickly recap. I'm a nerd, right? Mm -hmm. One important thing is numbers. So if you can't measure something, you can't mm -hmm. improve it. And what they did on this facility is they ran a several surveys to really figure out why were people experiencing the mental health issues that they were. They then realized what that traumatic event had happened. It happened months before it was done. But that traumatic event had changed the culture, it had changed the dynamics, and it was impacting people's productivity. And then by using telemedicine services and direct support, fine-tuned support, not just a you know one-size-fits-all approach, the mm -hmm. people on that site became far more supported, happier, and in fact, the productivity of that particular site has improved markedly over an 18 month period. So that's an amazing story. And it speaks to a couple of things. One, if you can't measure something, whether it's banking, whether it's medicine, whether it's mental health, you can't improve it. Two, mm -hmm. it needs to be tailored to be culturally sensitive and specific and for the individual. And we're so blessed in this current day and age with our technologies. Like we can have this call, I'm on the other side of the country, but we can engage in a meaningful uh, discussion and I think that's part of this important dialogue. And one final, sorry, one final comment. Um, I get so much value from my work. I love what I do. Being able to reach out and support different communities around the world is my passion and what we do at International SOS. And to be able to do that, you need to create a culture where people feel that yes, 
it's okay to say, hey, I'm taking strain today. It's not a cop out. I'm not saying, oh, well, now I need to stop. But help, please help me with this particular challenge. How do I do it? And as men, that is a lesson. It took me years to learn, but I'm grateful I did. If you just tuned in right now, we are speaking with Dr. Chris van Straten, Global Health Advisor, Clinical Governance at International SOS. Doctor, tell us, what role do employers play in mitigating workplace anxiety, depression and burnout? Great question. So interesting. And again, I come from a privileged position. We have worked with some of the leading companies globally and one, they understood the numbers. In other words, if people are not supported, if the workplace is a toxic environment, you can measure the loss of revenue over time. In other words, companies that do engage, and it has to come from leadership, and it's not just, oh, I think mental health support's a great idea. That doesn't cover it. It's the genuine engagement from leadership, the policies and procedures required to make workplaces safe, free from bullying, free from harassment. And also, again, I love these tools that we now have where you could be literally uh, on a boat offshore in the Pacific Ocean. Let's say you experienced something that was traumatic. You could now link to the therapy or sessions to get support and help you with your challenges. So it has to come from leadership. It has to be engaged in the right policies, HR procedures. And then it's about creating a space because stress is going to happen. That That's normal. And different levels of stress, acute stress, we can all usually manage. It's when it's chronic persistent stress that we need systems in play where it's safe at work to put your hand up and ask for help. Doc, what is the impact of mental health disorders on workplace productivity and the global economy? Yeah, it's a great question. And it was part of that intro. The, the data is very clear. It does differ on different parts of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you look at something, two billion uh, workdays lost is huge. It's over it. In fact, the numbers are so big, it gets hard to calculate. But uh, it, it's easy to say that a trillion dollars globally has been lost. Uh, and that that affects everyone. That infects the individual who is struggling to engage at work, uh, mm-hmm. to deliver the kind of work that it impacts their functionality, it impacts their community, it impacts their business, and it will impact the global economy. Indeed, as a final question this morning, Doc, what support systems are accessible and effective for employee needs specifically? Okay, great question. Uh, and it will depend on the different companies, the companies. And again, we're we're fortunate and blessed that we've worked with companies that realized uh, that they needed to make an impact, that have significant resources. And, and I'll give an example, a very large company we work with, they made a little medical facility available in their office. What does it mean? It means if you are super busy and you need to get your blood pressure checked, you can come in daily and do it and, and have your follow-up done. In other words, you don't have to take time off to go to the doctor. It's easily accessible and yeah. it becomes part of the daily workspace. And the same with the mental health. There are different uh, resources that companies are offering. For example, should I have had a challenging experience today that's causing me distraction, I can't focus? There is a, I literally have a, a helpline that I can access either via chat or I can then call a, a colleague. So having an open door policy and in allowing people to engage, but also partnering with the health partner, uh, like International SOS, there are, there are different providers that can first measure what the issues are and then build these support systems into your daily oh. workspace. Hope that's useful. Absolutely useful. Thank you very much for your time this morning uh, and, and bringing this in valuable information to the listeners of Radio Alensar and the Breakfast Rush. Looking forward to uh, another conversation and, and gaining from your expertise in future. Thanks for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Take care. Stay safe.